Hello and welcome. My name is Creatox, and I am a modder on the Nexus, and I mod for specific games like Skyrim, as you can see here, and Fallout 4, and Minecraft, and <coughs> I modded a lot of other games, uh, but that's just for the reference. And I just lately found out about a game named Mountain Blade Warband, which I was supposed to be playing like 10 years ago. Uh, and what should I say? Yeah, I played the vanilla game for like six weeks and it's an absolute awesome game and I already figured that there's going to be a release of Mount and Blade 2 and I specifically play uh, the DLC version Warband and as you can see I also use the script extender, let me just show you this quickly, with a standalone extracted ENB and I also use uh, a couple of good mods here and I'm currently playing this medieval conquest mod as I am very interested in an accurate historical display of medieval Europe. And what should I say? Yeah, at one point I started uh, uh, to mod myself, or I thought I want to start to mod myself. And in order to document my work, I also want to give some instructions, some tutorials for other people to learn from. And yeah, so also that I can at one point when I'm leaving the modding uh, efforts and return later, that I know what I did. And the first thing that you want to make sure uh, is that you have a clean version of Mount and Blade the original and Mount and Blade Warband installed, okay? You can also install with Fire and Sword if you have it, but you don't need it. I only need it for the resources. But uh, this is important for a mod creation as it is the standard in its version 1.172 and Mount and Blade in its version 1.011. You want to have both of them installed, they are vital. And then you want to install the module system, which is actually in the modding source, and you're going to find it if you just Google for Tail Worlds, and then you, uh, uh, the first link brings you to their home website, and then you just go check for MNB Warband downloads, and there you have it. There's the most up to date uh, uh, module system, and make sure you're crapping this because uh, in the official forums they have a version. In the official forums they have a version which, which is not up to date, <laughs> and you want to use the most up to date version. Download it, and now I can also uh, show you th something about uh, uh, folder structure that I'm used to when modding, and usually I'm opening my downloads folder, and we're going to unpack this module system here, and then I have a modding folder on my secondary uh, uh, drive, which is, as you can see, it's just a folder named modding, and then I have a mountain blade warband folder, and there you can see I already have this standalone ENB and my and the mods I'm using. And I'm just going to uh, create a new folder named SDK. And there I'm going to put, cut out, and paste the resources. And basically I can... Yeah, I can pull this out of this folder as well. And there you go. This is just the uh, files you need for... Yeah, those are the files that you need in order to be capable of modding the game. And you will also need Python, which is a script language. Python, we can surely Google for this. <coughs> and you can download it here on their website, and you need to install this. I'm not going to show you how to do this. And you want to crap a version that has uh, uh, um, that has the version number 2. Not You do not want to crap any version 3, you want to crap version 2, okay? So you would go to this link here, and then you just crap this version here, 2.7.13, and just make a standalone install of it. And once you uh, installed the source, you need to set it up in order that you can actually build build mods with it. And another very essential tool that I recommend at this point is Notepad++. Just download and install this one, okay? Make sure that you're crapping the full, uh, Windows 64-bit version if you have Windows 64-bit. And with this, you can, when right-clicking, open it with Notepad and yeah, you get a much better uh, display as if you use a normal editor. And yeah, in order to be capable of uh, actually mod the game, you need to set up the module info. Okay, that's important. And you need to link the export there to your Mount and Blade Warband installation, wherever it is. And for me, this is on my main hard drive. And, yeah, you need to put in the module that you're actually using. You don't need to link to the root file, you need to link to the module. And now that we're here, because we uh, you also want to make your own mod, okay, we're just going to copy the native folder. Native is uh, uh, what you are playing when you're playing Warband. You actually get to choose, I'm going to show you, you get to choose 
select this menu and then you can choose between the three versions and native is what you're actually playing and you want to make a copy of native and then rename it just to the name of your mod and I'm going to name it Europa mod and yeah basically that's the uh, source for your mod and wait actually it's better to copy over the SDK into your module folder simply to keep it original the download so you don't have to download it again if you mess something up I'm just doing, doing this for a convenience reason just copy it in here and then as I said you want to link to your own uh, to exactly this folder to your own module folder and you can do this by simply clicking up here uh, hit Control c and then you go into your module info file and then you're going to copy in this link here okay and make sure that you are using those slash types not, not the other slash types and there you go now i'm going to show you what's going to happen and now that you set this up uh, whenever you may change to the source files, you want to actually just hit this build module button up here, okay? And if you did everything right, then this is going to happen here. As you can see, he's uh, compiling the files. And once it's done, you can just press return. And now you will find those compiled files over here. In the modules folder, okay? And basically, I can delete them right now because I didn't do anything. And... Yeah, you also always want to memorize which files exactly you modified here because you don't need all of them. Okay, you just, uh, yeah, and you also want to rename them to their original name because they will have a uh, uh, expanded name with the name of your mod and you want to remove this part so that the original name is restored. And then you just copy this into your own module and then you have your uh, uh, module modded. That's the way that you're doing this. But that's just to show you how to compile and how to set up uh, a moddable environment and what I'm going to do now is because actually I want to map the game I, at a later point I'm probably also going to mod the game but at this point I want to map the game and now I'm going to show you what you have to do in order to be capable of mapping and you want to create a extended environment and for this you're going to need some tools and basic tools that I am using are Blender, Wings 3D and GIMP okay you can basically download Blender Blender is a complex modeler tool, which you can also use to model weapons and armors and stuff like that. But we're going to need it later to fix some map content. Wings is a very easy modeler tool and you can... Some of the guys are using it to actually shape their map and I recommend it for this. Uh, but I haven't used it yet. Uh, maybe at one point I'm going to uh, try using it, but I haven't used it yet. Yeah, just bring them back on my second monitor. And I'm using GIMP as I said. And if you uh, you want to install this because we will need to uh, it in order to be capable of mapping and just a blender and you want to make sure that you are crapping the gimp gimp normal plugin normal map plugin there and you want to make sure that you crap the gimp dot dds plugin there okay and you want to install both of them after you install gimp those are essential and once you've done that, you go into Google for Torcrim's map editor. And then you're going to find it over here. And just download it. Wait, let me figure something. <coughs> yeah, doesn't work. Um, just download it. And then you want to Google for the Warband Map Manager. And it's actually the second link. If you you can also download it from the Nexus, but I'm not sure that this is the most up-to-date version. So you can basically download it from here. And despite what he's saying up here, please do not use this application, blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, you will need this manager. It's important that you are going to use this, okay? And as you can see, it has the requirement of Net Framework 3.0, but today every computer should have auto-installed this, so just click and download the map manager and from here or you can actually also google for it from here you will also get a link for a second map editor that you want to download named the cartographer okay which has a very good documentation if at one point you're not going to uh if you're going to miss information and stuff like that 
And you want to crap this editor as well. And make sure to click the second link. And then you're going to download the repository, okay? Not this, you're going to download this one. Because this is actually in the most up-to-date version, not this one, okay? And now that you downloaded everything that you need, one last a tip I'm giving you, you're supposed to set up a folder uh, with important links as I did here, just for reference. If you forgot about things, you can just put them here and easy find them. All the links I just gave you, you can put them into this folder. And at this point, we got all the tools we need installed, uh, uh, downloaded, and just unpack it. And then we're going to install them, and I'm going to show you how to set them up. And, as always, I'm going to rename it here, MVV Cartographer. Ah, come on. Cartographer is enough. Then, Map Manager. And the Map Editor you actually need to install. I'm going to show you how to do this, because you want to crap it out of its original install folder. And just install it. And, yeah, keep everything checked here. Or, no. Mm. Uncheck those two, okay? Um, you, you're going to see why you want to uncheck those. And then just install it where it wants to be installed. Done. And now you can basically delete this uh, exa. And then go to the folder where you installed it here. And just cut. And copy the map editor. And rename it. And now we're going to uh, move them over to our <coughs> modding folder. And I'm just going to make a new folder named Tools. And there you are going to put it in. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to make a folder named Project. And Sources. You're going to figure out why I'm doing this. And now we are going to set up those uh, tools, okay? So we're going to make a link to the desktop for those tools. You don't need a link for the map editor, actually. But the cartographer also needs a link. Wait, where is it here? So, just my links, and I'm going to put them here. Map manager cartographer. Yeah, maybe let's find a better, better icon for this cartographer. Uh, this PC modding. Now the Blade Warband, Tools, Map Editor, boing, there you go, we're going to take this one. And, yeah, basically now we have uh, set up our easy access on the desktop. And what we want to do now is setting up the tools so that you actually uh, are capable of using them. Because you can use them out of the box, and I'm going to show you now how to set them up so that you can use them. Yeah, and we are going to start with Torquem's Map Editor, and basically you enter the folder and the editor data, and then you right-click and open settings, CFG. And then you need to find this here, MB path equals auto. And you want to replace this with uh, the link to your original Mount and Blade game. Not Warband, but the original game, and I have it installed on my second drive. And you want to link to the root folder, not the modules folder, but the root folder. Wait, let me figure if this is, yeah. To the root folder, you want to link to the root folder. Just grab the link again up here, and then put it in here. And again, make sure that you are using this separator type. Save your change. And as you can see here, it all already refers to the original Mountain Blade module, which is native, as you can see here. And now if you did everything right, uh, when you open the map editor, it should, and it does, actually open the map. There you go. That's the first thing to do can exit now. And now, we're going to set up the cartographer. And in difference to Torquem's map editor, the cartographer is using source files. Torquem's map editor uses the already compiled text files, but uh, the cartographer uses the source files. And you want to open the cartographer conf ini. And then you want to replace this with the module parties inside your own module that you just copied. In my case, it's the Europa mod. And then you want to uh, uh, find the module system, which you already have inside here. And then you want to find the module parties, which is over here. And then you want to link to it. 
like that. And then you want to make sure that you are using double slashes like this, okay? It's a little bit different here, but you uh, again want to replace those slashes. And now, again, if you did everything correctly, and I hope I did because there was a couple of times when I tried it the first time that it didn't work. Now if you did everything correctly, the cartographer should open as well. And there you go. There's the cartographer. Everything perfect. And now the last thing that we're going to configure is the actual map manager. And yeah, maybe people are going to disagree that you're going to need it, but it does some things. It automates some things that uh, you'd uh, uh, otherwise would do uh, would have to do manually. It does that for your convenience automatically. And you just click the link on the desktop, and then you what the fuck? You can basically delete this, and then you got all those uh, uh, missing links here. And the first link is uh, the warband path to your module. Okay, basically to the root folder of your module, this, and you can just copy and paste it. And the second one is the path to your uh, native module of uh, the original version, which is here. And the third one is the path to your map editor, to Torgrim's map editor, which is here. And for that you also want to make sure that you Enter map editor X, okay? And also click report all errors. And if you did everything right, and if I did everything right, we're going to get into the map editor this way. Yes, I did everything right. And there we are. And basically, that's about it. That's all you need to do to be capable of modding and mapping the game. And this basically concludes the video. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use internet resources to make your own map. Thank you for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and learned something. Goodbye. We'll see us on another day. Thank you. Bye-bye.